<laughs> guys I had to start this video again uh, this makes the second time I get tongue-tied I know what I want to say but my mouth won't say it <laughs> sometimes I get tickled at my own self my wife say what are you laughing about and I said oh just <laughs> you just have to be inside me I guess but anyway let's get started I have my 2003 Chevy cat eye truck Silverado truck I got it back home and I was trying to tell y'all that it seems like this truck's been gone more than I've had at home. If you'll remember, I haven't had this truck very long at all. Not very long at all. I bought it uh, from a good guy I didn't know him, but a good Christian man. And I found it on Marketplace. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know any history on the truck. Nothing. Nothing. I took his word for it, and uh, it's been a pretty good truck other than, other than, when I got the truck, I took it to GM1038 on YouTube. His name is Brian. Please check out his YouTube channel, GM1038. And if you make a comment, say you heard about him from Primer His Best. If you don't care, I'd appreciate it. Anyway, uh, Brian... Well, I asked him to change oil and just kind of go through the truck, you know, from front to back, you know, check the rear end dope, you know, change oil, just if it needs great, you know, anything. I, I said, I just, I try to keep everything mechanically in good shape in case my wife drives it. Of course, I don't want to have an accident either, but, uh, or, or, or hurt anybody at all. You know, I try to keep everything top notch, even though it's an old vehicle. All my vehicles are old. I've never had a new vehicle in my life. And uh, anyway, Brian was driving it. Let me say it again. Brian was driving the truck because I asked him to. I said, drive it wherever you want to drive it. So uh, he was making a left-hand turn in it, and the steering kind of hung up. So he had to use all his strength, and he's a... He's a lot stronger than I am. He's uh, young and full of juice, as I think I said. So, uh, got it back on the road. You know, there wasn't no accidents or anything, but had to replace the rack and pinion. Got new tie rod ends. I've had this, the front end aligned on it. Uh, let's see, what else? I know there's more anyway. Got the oil changed, everything. The, the truck runs excellent. It's a good running truck. I really like it. It's got 222,000 miles on it. So when you're looking at it, uh, keep that in mind. I just got it back from my friend Junior. And wait a minute, I have his business card here. And I told him that I would give him a shout out because he's such a good guy. We drove to Athens, Tennessee. Let's see. Maybe you can see it. He does excellent work, excellent work. And he's detailed a few vehicles for me, all because he can get them done pretty quick. Next Generation is the name of it. Downtown Athens, Tennessee. That's his phone number. If you happen to be a local person that watches my videos and you have a car or truck you'd like to get detailed, wash detail, I had him wax the whole thing. I mean, I told him, I said, just go from one end to the other on the truck and just clean it up i said that way i can kind of i can kind of get a hold on it and keep it up myself but uh they took the carpet out took the seats out i mean shampooed the carpet took all the seats out and everything and uh i gotta tell you they done a bang up job meaning good i should <laughs> probably should point that out huh anyway uh he said he cleaned the wheels the best he can now these are aftermarket wheels as you can see they've got pits where the chrome is coming off and you know they're kind of notorious for that you know like if a well if you've been in salt or but I'm, i mean i'm in east tennessee so this truck has been in east tennessee but i suspect maybe maybe a dog or a cat has urinated on it more than likely but as i said they're aftermarket wheels made in the usa and they they are uh weld weld forged i'm kind of seeing these wheels for the first time because <laughs> this truck was so dirty and by the way if you'll watch the video to the very end i'll try to show you pictures of the truck before it was cleaned 
I made a video of it before I took it down to Athens to have him detail it, and uh, I don't know what happened to the video. I don't know if I accidentally deleted it or what, but I have a new phone now, so I don't I don't know what happened to it. These tires are, in case somebody was to ask, 275-45-20s. I would like to trade these wheels, or I'd like to get me some, let me say this again. I'd like to get me some uh, Chevy uh, L LTZ wheels, the same kind like I had on my 2007 Chevy truck coffee. But my wife really likes these wheels, so I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do. But so maybe sometime this coming fall or so, I'm going to get some new tires if I wind up keeping these wheels. But I'm hoping I can run across a deal somewhere down the road. I'm not in a big hurry for tires. There's still plenty of tread. But at the same time, I'd like to, uh, you know, get some L LTZ wheels and put on it. I think it'd look really good. But sometimes my wife, Mrs. P.I.B., has the final say. You can see there's, you know, the chrome is coming off. And a lot of it is from... I mean, I'm not saying it is, but I'm saying it's probably from pets. So, every one of these wheels has, especially on the inside, I mean, I don't know how old these wheels are. I don't know nothing about the truck very much at all. You know, it's, but from a distance, I mean, it looks pretty good. I'm not going to be doing anything uh i'll call it special on this truck because i'm going to use it as a truck uh i'm going to I, all i want to do is keep it clean i just kind of like my own dirt I, I you know if somebody else has been into it you know or had it for a long time and it hadn't been cleaned like i said watch the end of the video i'll try to post some pictures of what it did look like i couldn't believe it's my truck also uh I don't have them on yet. I don't know when I'm going to put them on. But I got some of those uh, vent shades, window shade things, plastic that stick on. But see, I uh, just remembered I got this dent right here. And you see, there's one that goes here. I don't. I just have to see how that fits. I might have to get that fixed. It was on the truck when I bought it. And uh, the feller told me it had a dent. And there's a, you only stand back, you see a couple little dents in here and stuff i mean i'm not picking it to death what is it a 20 uh, it's 20 years old 20 years old i think i'm gonna get me some uh go to the paint supply store and get me some paint and see if i can match this up i know a lot of people said they take them off but i'm gonna see if i can match it up where it looks kind of decent you know best that i can and uh but i mean brian you know gm tim 38 be sure to check his channel out please but he had this thing up in the air and uh he said besides his he has one too uh his is a four-wheel drive truck but it's the same thing extended cab and all that and he said this is the most solid truck him his and this one he said of all the ones he's seen are the most solid the frame solid i mean it it hasn't left east tennessee so uh Let's look at the insides and real quick. I'm just real proud of this truck. It's a, I've never had extended cab. I've never had uh, any kind of, you know, I've always had single cab trucks. And uh, I'm getting some fuzz off here. Uh, this is it. I mean, uh, my wife said, don't forget to put the cup hold, the cup in back in there. That's where we put change. Believe it or not, it's got a cigarette lighter, but it does not have an ashtray. So <laughs> I spent a lot of time looking to see where in the world is that ashtray because we always put our change in there if we go to the store or whatever. But uh, there's no ashtray. I oh, I want to show you this. Hang on. And I'm not recommending doing this. I'm just telling you what I do. See this stuff right here? Aguirre's Endurance Tire Gel. I don't know if we've ever used this or not. I use it a lot. I put it on a lot of things. But I'm saying I'm not recommending that you do this. I'm just telling you what I do on my vehicles, okay? 
I'll set this here. Hopefully I won't forget it. Anyway, uh, I got some clean paper towels. These seats are leather. And I have put it all over these seats. That tire gel stuff, just massaging it in. Leather has to have some, uh, if you don't want it to crack. And I've had several vehicles with leather seats. And uh, as long as I do that, I mean, I don't have no splits or cracks. Leather has to have moisture getting in and out. Now, this truck already had some splits in it, which was beyond my control. But it's okay. Like I said, it's a 2003, and I bought it used, and it's good. I can already see where it's soaking it up. But I'm trying to I'm gonna let this sit overnight on here. You can see how shiny the seat is and the headrest and, the, you know, everything. I put it on everything. I'm going to let it sit overnight. And it, tomorrow, I'll come out here. It's getting late in the day. But tomorrow, I'll come out here and I'll uh, get a clean rag. And just, you know, if there's any residue, which there won't be. These seats needed some moisture awfully bad a long time ago. So, I'll just kind of wipe it off, you know. And uh, put it on my steering wheel. It's got a leather wrapped steering wheel. It's got the Bose stereo system in it even though it won't really pick up a whole heck of a lot as i've mentioned in our earlier videos but hey i'm i'm just happy to have a truck you know a good decent looking truck that uh it runs good i'm, I'm going to try to fix a couple of these places here where the the paint has come off the dash i'm going to try to doctor some of this stuff up and make it look the best i can on my budget like i said i'm going to use it as a truck it's not going to be a, as long as i have it it'll never be a show truck it's just going to be Hey, let's get in and go pick something up or whatever, or dump something off, whatever kind of truck. But uh, you can do that trick if you want to. I had somebody uh, the other day that uh, I, I got a video on my YouTube channel, Primer is Best, which is what you're watching now. And look at all this pollen. Can you? It is just yellow. Anyway, I'm gonna live in East Tennessee. That's to be expected, but. I got a video, you know, if your wipers are making racket, uh, you know, uh, I get WD-40 in a paper towel, hold the wiper up, the wiper blade, you know, the whole wiper, and uh, I get WD-40 and I go up and down the wiper blade. And a lot of times it gets rid of the noise, you know, it'll make it just smooth. It gets off a lot of dirt and, uh, you know, kind of lubricates the wiper blade itself. These are new on here. But uh, I had somebody complaining. I, I, it worked for two days, and it went. Uh, the, the comment was, "Well, you know, your idea didn't work. It only worked on my vehicle for two days, and you know, then it started doing the same thing again." And you know, like I said, I don't recommend anything to anybody. And I, I said in the comment, I said, "You know, uh, I said I never said it was a permanent fix. I said you might want to try it. It might work for you. It might not. You know, I'm, I'm just." telling you little things that I do on my vehicles that sometimes they work you know uh, you'd be surprised how much dirt you can get off a wiper blade if you just get a paper towel with some WD-40 and just go up and down anyway I'm sorry I got off on that I apologize but uh, I think I shut that good yeah uh, anyway I want to give Junior a big old shout out at uh it cleaned up the truck for me and uh i have plans of i think i'm going to get something and go around through here maybe with a black marker or something to kind of match this the, uh, my wife was really attracted to this truck because it had a a hard shell bed cover on it it's a a r e and uh She's, she was really attracted to that and the extended cab. We had a little, remember, if you've watched my channel any length of time, uh, I had a 93 Ford Ranger. I called it S10 Ranger because I had Corvette Rally wheels on it. And I called it an S10 Ranger just because, you know, people standing around scratching their head. Well, why you call, how'd you get them Corvette Rally wheels on it? Blah, blah, blah. I just have a little fun out of people. And, of course, I'd tell them. But anyway, uh, I, tr I traded... I sold it to my friend because my knees are bad and I was wanting something, a truck that was automatic. So we decided to get something a little bit bigger. I was actually looking for a S10 or a Colorado. Never could find one that was within my price range or, or if I did. 
Every, I don't know. Every time I find something that I really like, it's in across the United States. I'm just exaggerating, but it's a good distance. Seems like all the good deals are a good distance from me. So anyway, I run across this. So I got it. I got this truck. Oh, I was going to show you. Hey, I haven't even looked at the engine. I forgot about that. What am I doing? Except talking about... I talk a lot. Let's see what it looks like. I haven't seen it myself, so... Hopefully I can do this with one hand. If I can find the... Let's see. There we go. Oh, man. What a good job. That looks really good, does it? Well, I mean, it was really nasty before, is what I'm trying to say. I really like this thing. They've done a great job. I highly recommend them, if, uh, Junior, if you, uh, next generation. Athens, Tennessee. Good guys. Good people. Anyway, he's a big cut up, and uh, his wife is too, and we just get along great. See all that pollen? I don't know if you can see it, but. That's, that's why my voice is kind of changing. But since we've had the truck, we've put new headlights, turn signal lights, tail lights in it. And uh, now we got it cleaned up. Of course, we had oil change and all the stuff I just mentioned. So I might try to think about... I'm going to be on the lookout for some uh, wheels. Maybe some better wheels. My wife likes these. And I mean, at a distance, they do look pretty good. I mean, but if I can find some Chevy... Uh, LTZ wheels I think it would look better hey y'all give me your opinion what do you think remember it's just it's just going to be used as a truck I'm not going to it's not going to be nothing fancy or anything but I tell you my wife was behind me following me and she said those tail lights make a huge difference and I got them on eBay I think they was like 120 bucks including you know the headlights the turn signal you know all that stuff and the tail lights from eBay so Anyway, I'm still going to piddle with it, and uh, hopefully we'll make it look our, our very best, and uh, kind of go from there. I'd like to, I'm kind of sneaking around, not, I'm not sneaking around, but I'm trying to say, I'm, if I ever run across a better front bumper, I'll probably buy it. This one's been kind of, let's see, can you see all that? Where's my finger? Right, right in here. It's been, they've hit something with it. This one didn't come with the fog lights. It's got the tow hooks, but not the fog lights. That doesn't bother me, but if I run across a better bumper, I understand from people making comments they, that the front bumpers are somewhat of a weak point. So I'm kind of learning from y'all, you know, about these kind of trucks. I asked Brian and uh, Corey and Tim Dixon at Gas Axe Chop Shop. He's on Facebook, Gas Axe Chop Shop. I called and told them uh, before I bought the truck, you know, what it was. And all of them said these are great, great running trucks. So that's, re that's another reason why I got it. So anyway, guys, I, I, I'm just real happy the truck looks good. And it's supposed to rain all week. So that's just about <laughs> par for the course. I might take these wipers off as I'm looking at them and repaint them. They need to be painted. I'll take that. I'll just kind of piddle with it now and again when I can. But I just want y'all to see the truck. And, it, you know, it. when I seen the truck, when we, my wife and I first come up on it to pick it up, I couldn't believe it was our truck. I mean, it, it, what a huge change. I'll try to include some pictures at the end of this video. So I thank y'all for watching. You're watching Primer is Best. Please tell your family and friends that an old man like me gets excited over something old like this. 20 years old so uh yeah thanks for watching i appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe to primer as best i'd be most grateful my wife would too mrs pib and also have a second youtube channel called man on a budget and i'm on instagram man on a budget one i'm on primer as best uh facebook and instagram primer as best as well god bless y'all the lord is good isn't he i can't believe it I can't believe how blessed I am sometimes. It's just unbelievable. And I, I hope he's watching over you too. Please pray to the Lord and and 
everybody tried to do better, I guess. I'm trying to do better each and every day. I stumble sometimes, but we all try to do the best we can and uh, hope that you're doing the same. God bless y'all. Pray for others. And I'll catch y'all in the next video, okay? God bless each and every one of y'all. I'll see y'all later.